this episode, we're continuing our exploration of Detroit's abandoned sites with the Highland Park Community College. The building began its life in 1915 as the Highland Park High School, located just a few blocks away from the site of Henry Ford's Highland Park factory. Throughout the years, the school would continue to expand, eventually housing a junior college as well. In the 1970s, when high school enrollment began to drop, the community college took over the entire property. It would operate until 1995, when the college ran out of students and money. In its final years, the building housed a career academy, which lasted until 2009. Since then, the building has sat in decay, eroded by nature and vandalism. Now, we're venturing inside to discover what's left. Thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring today's video. Start protecting yourself on the web at nordvpn.com slash properpeople and use the code properpeople at checkout to get 75% off a three-year plan with an extra month for free. Wow, pretty nice hallways. Got that molding up there. Drop ceiling was added way later. Look, it's wide open down there too, though. Yeah. Does that go outside? That's the entry. Okay. I can see seats for an auditorium right here. What is that? It's like an art piece or something. What the heck? Is it like an art installation or something? It looks That's like it. New. What the hell? Is With that? those hooks? Someone lit it and did something with it. There's okay, batteries. I think I've seen pictures of this. Yeah, dude. Someone like lit this and did log storage with it. And the shit looks insane. And apparently someone this built this and put it in here? Yeah, because look at the wire that's holding it. It's just rebar. Yeah. It's got like a D clip up there. Oh look, these are light strings. Yeah. yeah. Can we hook it up? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to plug it in. This is connected. These are maybe supposed to be disconnected. This, oh, that's a switch you Yeah. Tried. Maybe these go together. This is cut too. I wonder There's if There's a switch here too. It's on. Somebody left it on, I bet, and it and just went dead. The battery, I bet the batteries yeah. are dead. They were just left on. They need new. Oh, it's on. It turned on. There it goes. Turn your light oh, on. Oh, shit. <laughs> Part of it is on. Oh, sick. That's pretty cool. The other part, it needs a little bit reworking. Another really nice high school auditorium. Very different from the other one. I mean, it's not quite cooly, but it's still cool. <laughs> the wind's whistling. I hope that's the wind. Let's head up to the second level. These seats are pretty vintage looking. 
It's a very simple design for the chairs, but it still looks nice. It's like 50s, 60s when they started to get more minimalistic, but they still paid attention to design. Whereas these days, it's minimalistic with no attention paid to design, really. Just make them as cheap as possible. Yeah. Let's see if any keys work on these pianos. This one, definitely not. <laughs> This auditorium is part of the original 1915 high school. In 1918, an entire new school was built directly to the west to meet the neighborhood's explosive demand. At first, the two schools were segregated by gender and functioned independently, but they would later merge into one co-ed institution. Wow, it's a nice staircase. Look at the height of the ceiling and look at the height where the drop ceiling is. There's lights. It's literally half the height. There's lights above that drop ceiling. Yeah, there's like a ceiling above the drop ceiling. Did they? They just kept installing ceilings lower and lower to or hide the, the old drop ceiling. ceiling fell. No, it didn't because you can see the seam oh, you can. in the paint. Yeah. It just had really high ceilings at first. Yeah. And they it's, brought them way down. I guarantee you it's because it, was, it cost less to heat. Because all that open area, you oh, yeah. all that, and it costs a fortune. Maybe, but does the drop ceiling even insulate that uh, separately? Probably not, like, 100%, but probably okay. better than Enough it to make it, make it cheaper. It yeah, that's probably it. Yeah. this place is all windows, too. We'll see how we get up there. Oh, wow, it's filled with papers back here. Financial aid, admissions, student this services. This is data processing. Data processing right here. Oh yeah. This is insane. Let's see how outdated the textbooks are. They might not even be that old. Century 21 accounts. Okay, that one looks old. <laughs> but the, some of the geometry books that I just got a glimpse of back there. 86, 87. Okay. Wait, did we literally have this algebra book? It did. looks so familiar. I have seen this cover before. That was the middle school <laughs> algebra book. Yeah. Those were middle school. I have seen this cover before, 100%. Yeah. Oh, this is so familiar. Holy crap. Dude, it just keeps going. This was literally my textbook when I was in school. What year is this from? Yeah, I remember that shit too. It was probably like an updated version of it. This is copyright 2004. It same, literally could have been book. our middle school yearbook. Did I call it a yearbook? I didn't say textbook. <laughs> and dude, there's like dead stock up here. There's boxes oh, yeah. up here that aren't even opened. Teacher's resource package. Yeah, those are language textbooks, it says on the box. It's the atrium. Now, is this outdoors or indoors? It's outdoors, right? It's indoors. Oh, it is indoors? Oh, I've seen this place before. Okay. Holy cow. Yeah. I wow. Mean, it's sort of outdoors, yeah. Some of the windows are blown out of I mean, they just connected the two older buildings, it looks like, with this. Mm hmm. They still have the banners for the community college.
For most of its life, the school was comprised of two completely separate buildings. However, in 1975, juveniles set fire to a stack of mats in one of the gymnasiums and the fire quickly spread out of control. The gym was a total loss, but in order to make the best of the situation, this atrium was constructed in its place. The elevator car is super misaligned. Holy shit. It's a triple decker gym. First time seeing a triple decker one of these. Oh, this is the gym? Yeah, it's three levels. Oh yeah. There's also a pool right below us too that I caught a glimpse of earlier. It's a cool gym. Two tracks. Or one track and a level for something else. Yeah, I don't know what was down there. Yeah, I don't know. The curved one's the track. Yeah. You want to go down those stairs and see if they lead to the pool? Yeah, sure. Okay. This is creepy looking how it's all caged in. Hopefully it's still sturdy. Here's the pool. I got a diving board. Go stand on the edge of it. I'm scared it's not <laughs> balanced right. Maybe if it I looks mounted. Back Dude, that's gonna hurt if that falls. <laughs> All right, now you're good. <laughs> this is a terrible. Go tip. to the tip. I'm scared. I'll Just do it. <laughs> Don't be scared of the tip, Brian. Just the tip. All right, is this good enough? Sure. <laughs> High up, eight feet. We don't know it. It happened right when the wind picked up. That's oh. important. They're sailing the boards right now. You think that was a drill? Yeah. It sounded like a creaky door. It was a creaky door. You think so? Yeah. Like yourself? No. Uh, it was not know. loud enough. Because the last time we left here, they had a drill on that side and closed it off. They closed off the door over there. Fuck it, let's go. It was that one right there? Yes. Yeah. Both of these. That's pretty good. be the wind, but it could also be a ghost. I'm sure someone would use the camera. That's the It's very organized. Every window you look out of here, it's just more abandoned buildings. So it's like a beauty classroom. Cosmetology, that's the word I was looking for. A 
arms like a machine gun. Oh, Holy wow. cow. That's like one of those car factory arms. Looks like it. You can program it and it'll do repetitive actions. They probably had this here because it's Detroit. And a lot of people teaching people could how to work program on the assembly that, line yeah. for cars. I don't know about that one. Oh, there it goes. Wow. There's the grabby end of it. Looks like it has two independent hands. Grab things. Mm. It's the pinch. Or, or I cut things. Look at all the grease in there, too. It's strange how that ends up in here because it still looks like this was the cosmetology school based on what's on the walls. A step above the rest. There's workshop tables in here, yeah. Like sewing. Sewing machines. Yeah. Sewing machines are ripped out though. There's asbestos strips. What would you use these for? Used for it? care, crystal ball inlay, investment, control Strip pattern. Strip asbestos. Yeah, I wouldn't touch that. For making casts of something. Yeah. Casting machine, so maybe it's art, something for art. This is the casting machine. I mean, there's other reasons to make casts of stuff. Oh, it's dental molds right here. Oh shit, yeah. Oh. Wow. Here you go. Duh. So they used asbestos in these. Do you put asbestos in your mouth? They literally just put asbestos in everything back then just because so it was like a selling point of things back then. It was good when it had asbestos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thicken up your uh, marinara sauce. <laughs> Look at these. Those are the castings for your mouth. Are these like finished ones? It's got like teeth in there. Mm -hmm. So someone already had done the cast. Yeah. Not really. Is that that's the asbestos tape? Oh yeah. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get this one. Oh, there's boxes of it in here. Look at these, there's whole boxes of it, all stacked up, hundreds. Of the tape? Yeah, all dozens. <laughs> oh, oh my god. That's fucking believable. Oh. This room is cool too. It was a welding class. Welding. Is that metal working? Welding, yeah. yeah. Welding. Look at this, it's still up. Welcome new welding students. Wow. Look at Drawings. This. This, guy ended up. this is the rules. Handwritten yeah. copies. Dude, I remember my teachers would do this in high school too. Couldn't bother typing. No fighting, no smoking in class. Seriously, you gotta fucking tell people they can't smoke in class. In a welding class too, of all things. <laughs> No beepers. No radio or television, any size. Pocket. Then the any size is added on, so that's how you know they had an issue. Someone brought in like a tiny TV or something. Any <laughs> size. I think the funniest thing is no beepers. That shows how old this is. No dancing. No concealed carry weapon. No dancing. No <laughs> knives. Like a rule for dancing. Push buttons, no razors. No finger blades. No, no, no extracting. Smoking. Cigarettes, pipes, wait, wait, what is this blunts. one? No extracting swords. 
Extract Kings. No clubs, baseball bats, or blackjacks. You know this guy had some issues. He had to add on to his yeah. rules. Yeah. Look what, no blunts. Blunts comes up number four. What is this? No ropes? Ropes. Nose. No crack? Nose candy, it says. No, it's a six crack. Oh, straight yeah, six up. Says straight up crack. No smoking crack. Smack. Eight says anything. Nose candy crack smack anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best fucking shit I've ever seen. <laughs> Either this guy actually had someone smoking crack in his class, or he just has I think he's just being tongue in cheek. This is probably the teacher's desk in here. Probably. Do you think they welded this in this classroom? Probably. And this gate too. There's a couple tapes in there. Probably just instructions for learning Tape to weld. Man. Back before the internet, now you can just go on YouTube and learn how to weld. Components of a barbecue pit display. I guess one of their projects was to make a barbecue pit. They might have had a mechanic shop back here. If we can get into it. I don't know. No. Oh, okay. Force it open. There you go. Perseverance. Take it out, dude. <laughs> Look. <laughs> How fucking random is that? How to open the door. Perseverance. Works. Yeah, we got a Jeg sticker. Definitely a mechanic shop. <laughs> What's the exhaust vent? Oh yeah, that makes sense. Then it goes out here. Oh, you put the uh, yeah, it has, a, it has a fan and it shoots out there, so they can run cars in here without getting fumes. Yeah, in the wintertime, they're running the door. Well, it's like a building. Is this an upside down car? What the fuck? <laughs> it is. I didn't know what it was at first, but I just saw lights on it. But it's a fucking <laughs> car flipper around your thing. <laughs> what do you even call this? The car goes onto it and it flips it upside down. Is this to like learn pieces of the it's car? Because like, so can... it's attached to the frame. So yeah. the cards can come off this. So it just, yeah, it'll, they'll turn it and be like, oh, let's talk about So you can <laughs> see the suspension and see, because if this was a real car, flipping it upside down would fuck with all the fluids. Yeah, all the door panels are off on this side. So you it's can like see cut it. away, so you could see the window motors and yeah. the locks and the regulators. That's what just, you could see how it works. That's pretty crazy. It's locked up. Look at this thing right here. All right. Oh, it's turning. It's turning. The car's moving. The car fucking can turn by hand. Oh my god. Close the door. Yeah, close the door. You gotta turn. Turn this. Careful, I think it's hitting something over there. At the end, watch that end. You hit something. I hit something? This thing the just thing came hit off. Something. It's not touching anything. I saw no. it move. This just came off. Oh, okay. It's heavy, holy shit. Yeah, why don't you push the other fall? All right, you tell me when you're ready. I'm going to push this side. Okay, I'm pushing down. All right, three, two, one, go. Be careful. Oh, dude, it's heavy. It's heavy. It's a fucking car. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's probably hanging this way for a reason. Yeah. Like, the center it's... of gravity, it wants to be that yeah. way. Yeah. All right. What this kind of car was right, it? Though, so you could push a button and it would turn Yeah. Yeah, it's not like, all right, everybody get on this side and push it so we can see the But you think they would have calibrated it in the center of gravity so that you could, the motor would do the least amount of work. Yeah, you would think.
Yeah, this is definitely a lecture Multiple hall. Purpose. Wow, this drop ceiling looks dumb though. It cuts off the top of the curtain. It really does. Do these still pivot properly? Not there. They uh, go. Yeah. yeah, they do. Perfect. And then you get a hashtag and flip <laughs> over. It's like a surprise. Full of desks, though. Do a door, and this is the first thing you'd see. Yeah, the staircase is worse, sealed off. Not like sealed, but isolated from the rest of the they school. They could section them reason. off for security, yeah. You can see the more detailed ceiling in this hallway also. I'm surprised they didn't just put the drop ceiling below this thing and cover that up. I know, right? Seems like something they would do. Wow. <laughs> Get your money. Get your money. <laughs> wow. So crunchy in here. Oh, one of these old blackboards it spins around. Is it locked? Yeah, you gotta loosen them. That's probably enough. Here, there you go. Students wrote these. You're the funniest person I've ever met. There's names on the front of these. Oh wow, those are maintenance lines. Yeah, it's like a maintenance access, I think. But they have numbers. Oh shit, yeah. They're numbered. This those just... are probably actually original lockers. Probably. Yeah. Wow, it's like built into the wall. Hooks. Damn. This place would have looked so cool when it was all original. Fuck yeah. But it's like look how small they are compared to the new ones. Yeah, they're probably too small. But you think about everything back in the day was small, you know? Like people were smaller. This is a big room. Wow, this looks like a science room. What is this equipment? Oh, dude, this is where they kept all the equipment, like uh, beakers and stuff. Lots of over here. Beaker. Oh my 
Yeah. Is there more back there? This thing looks freaking old. Thelco Precision. Maybe a sterilizer or something. Look at this. There's a lot of cool shit in this room right here. This tube. Oh, holy cow. That whole thing is filled with these. You could make a water-cooled PC loop out of these. <laughs> Are those computers down there? Like Apple's? Uh, where? I saw instruction oh, yeah. manuals for those Apple Twos. Those are old Apple monitors, Holy yes. Shit, look at that. Just monitors Just though? monitors. Wow. Racks on racks. There's a random examination table right there with a chair just chilling on top of it. This room is cool. Oh wow, it's a lecture hall. Yo, what are these computers here? They probably aren't supposed to be here. They just put them here. These They're are the swivel. IBMs. The swivel chairs. As the sun was beginning to set, we decided it was time to make our way out. Today, Detroit's population decline has begun to stabilize, and the city appears to be getting back onto its feet. Many areas have been revived, and derelict structures are being demolished all across the city. Although it's disappointing for us to see as explorers, the truth is it's a necessary step in Detroit's recovery. Abandoned buildings are a huge drain on the city's police and fire departments, as well as other municipal services. They've only just begun to make a dent, however, and it will take decades to clean up the entire city. Before that time comes, a return visit is definitely in order. Thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. NordVPN makes it extremely easy to secure yourself on the internet by using military-grade encryption to ensure your connection is private. This is extremely important if you're connecting to any public networks. The encrypted connection hides what exactly you're doing online, so your ISP or firewall can't block any specific connection. They're simple-to-use applications that allow you to connect to one of their thousands of servers in over 61 countries. You can even choose a different country, and as far as your connection goes, it would be just like you were there, perfect to get around region restrictions. NordVPN is giving our viewers 75% off a three-year plan with an extra month for free. Go to nordvpn.com slash properpeople and use the code properpeople at checkout. That's nordvpn.com slash p-r-o-p-e-r-p-e-o-p-l-e, or click the link in the description.